good morning guys welcome back to my channel if today is your first day of watching my video welcome to the channel my name is nina you can call me nene and this is nene space welcome to nene space guys and if you are a returning subscriber thank you thank you thank you just know that i love you so so much i love you guys so so much thank you for stopping by thank you so much and to those to those people that are just watching my video for the first time please guys please i'm begging you guys do me a favor to subscribe subscribe to this channel so that we can grow this channel together please please subscribe like share and give me good comments guys you will like this space you like this our uh, space this nene space you like it so guys please after watching this video please subscribe it's all free subscribing is free they won't collect money from you it's all free so guys please subscribe to this channel and i i can guarantee you that you will like this space once you come into this space okay guys today is a story as in is a story time with me today is a story time with me like a real life story with me this story happens six years ago but it's it's very very fresh in our memory like yes when i say our memory like my family memory everybody around me everybody in my family it's a very very sad story like a very strad um, it's a very tragedy story it goes this way how my elder brother was killed how my elder brother was killed okay guys let's dive into the story it goes this way guys six years ago my brother married to an anambra lady but i can't remember where she's from like i don't know her village i think somewhere in ojoto i'm not too sure but i think somewhere in ojoto village i don't know i'm not too sure guys but i'm very sure she's from anambra state they did their big wedding like the wedding was massive god see with my brother's wedding i've come to believe that it's not every massive wedding that we end up where yes so ladies that will say they want a very big wedding see ladies it's not every massive wedding that will end up where because of the experience i had with my own brother marriage they had a very big wedding and a year later glory be to god they were blessed with a baby girl they were blessed with a baby girl and um the mother came for omugo which is child visits and to my own understanding i believe omugo should be for like three months if i'm not mistaken but the mother decided to spend to spend extra nine months that is one year and me i don't really fancy that i yes how can a mother spend a whole one year when she has a husband that she can go and stay with wherever they are staying instead of coming to your child's um family what are you doing there yes what are you doing there the only time i would advise maybe mother should stay back and take care of their daughter is only if the daughter has complications and she needs someone to take good care of her that's only when to me i think the mother can stay for that long but when everything went well the daughter is fine your granddaughter is fine your grandchild is fine i don't think there's any need for you to stay more than one more than three months even three months self i think to me i think it's too much but let's just leave it at that three months so if your daughter is fine i don't know why you mother i don't know what are you doing what you are doing in your daughter's house for good one year like seriously you have a husband go and stay with your husband and leave your daughter to enjoy her marriage 
the mother stayed for a whole one year, guys. She didn't stay there to take care of the grandchild or to take care of her own child. The mother literally stayed there to scatter the family. She starts giving her daughter wrong advice. Whenever my brother drop money for food, she will say, she will tell the daughter, the money is too small. You should go and meet the husband for crying out loud. Why? Why are you doing that? Go to your husband's house and leave your daughter to manage her home. This keep going on. It's even lead to, a, uh, to an extent that she and her daughter, they fought my brother. Guys, please ignore this noise at the background. It's inverter um, noise. I think whenever the inverter is charging, it keep on making noise. So just ignore the noise and listen to my story i'm so sorry about the noise she keep on advising her daughter to the extent they fought my brother guys don't quote me wrong go i never said my brother was a saint but no matter what no matter what you shouldn't allow your mother push you to the extent of fighting your own husband even your mother joined hand my brother was never violent even the the neighbors they testified to it my brother cannot beat a woman because we are not trained that way in my family so my my brother did not beat her maybe it it was an argument that leads to fighting that leads to the mother fighting and the lady join hand and we don't know because we are not there so i can't just say what i don't know but all we heard was that it leads to a time where she and the mother fought my brother and all these things was going on guys do you know that my brother never call called any of us to tell us what was going on in his marriage he never told us because his house was very far from us he was staying in east and we we are staying in lagos so it's very far we can't go. We can't just say, okay, let me invest, carry my bag, go and see my brother. It's not possible that way. And we, we, we can't just go and see them because he's married now. He should face his family. But he never called us for one day that did look at what is passing through. Look at what the mother-in-law is doing to him. He never said a thing to us. We believed everything was going smoothly. We believed the marriage was going fine we believe my brother was happy in the marriage even the wife vice versa we never knew it was the other way around fast forward to to one year yes one year when the baby was one year the wife the mother the baby they all left the house like the mother took the daughter and the grandchild. They left the house. My brother went to work. He doesn't even know what was going on. It was a neighbor that called him and told him that ah, your wife and the mother and your child, they've left. Oh, they carry their bag. They saw them carrying their bag. My brother was like, what's that? They never discussed something like that. This, that. And sorry, let me just advise I'm just throwing this advice to ladies. Not even ladies now. It's um, vice versa, both men and women. But I think ladies more. Because I know I know it's, it's only few guys that talk too much. That whenever they have issue with their wife, they will start telling their family members. Some will not tell. Some will keep it to their hearts and be struggling with it. I know it's common in ladies. So I just want to throw this little advice to ladies out there though it's it's for both ladies and men it's for both women and men please guys if you are married if you are married please if you're having issue like all these minor minor issues in your family please please just try and sort things out with your husband 
I don't think it's necessary for you to go and be telling your family member, my husband did this, my husband said this. No, I don't think it's necessary because you as a wife, you as a wife, you will forgive your husband. Yes, when I say you forgive your husband, you will forgive your husband. But your family will never do. Your family, they will never forgive your husband. Even if they want to, whenever they remember what you told them about your husband, they'll say, this man that did this to my sister, this man that did it to my daughter. They will not. And by you doing so, you are increasing more hatred. Like, it's like you are pouring more fire to the burning, more, sorry, more petrol to the burning fire. Because that hatred will keep on increasing. They will never forgive your husband. Whenever they see your husband, they will just feel like doing something to him. Likewise, the husband too. If you start taking the issues in your home to go and tell your family, Whatever you tell your family, they, it will be in their head. They will never forgive your wife. Whenever they see your wife, they'll say, ah, this one that did this to my brother, this one that did this to my son. So I don't think it's necessary. If you have little misunderstanding in your home, please, guys, try and sort it out with your wife. Try and sort it out with your husband so that you will not just create enmity between your in-laws and your husband or your in-laws with your wife. You don't need it. It doesn't really worth it. So back to what I was saying. When the wife, when my brother wife and the mother left with the child, that was when my brother think it is necessary for him to call his own family, which is us, to inform us what was happening in his own family. And then it was late. Had it been he has told my dad or my mom, they would have called the woman and talk over it. They would have just asked the woman, what is your problem, woman? Why are you staying in your in your daughter's house just to cause problem between she and her husband? But my brother never told any of them or my any of us because he feels that it wasn't necessary and he feels that it's something he can just sort out between him and his wife but he never knew it will lead to them going away from the house with the child sorry and when my dad had it he was so so mad he was so so hungry that why would my brother keep such thing to himself without letting his parents know about it so guys three years later okay before then my dad with annoyance he made a statement because my my brother was still trying to side his wife i never see that kind of stupid love because to me it's a stupid love somebody that can do this to you you are still siding him my 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 brother was even telling my dad that um what if if she come back and beg that he will accept her back that was when my daddy made these strong statements the statements were so strong and i i wish my brother heed to what my dad told him i i wish my brother acts on what my dad told him maybe he will have still be alive by now who knows Maybe he will have still be alive by now, but my brother never listened to what my dad told him. My dad made that strong statement because he was so hungry. How can a mother treat his own son that bad? Not minding that he has a family, he has a parent. Even if there's anything that my brother did to his uh, her daughter that she doesn't like, she will have just come call the 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 um daughter's the daughter's son the daughter's husband's family this is what your son is doing to my daughter i don't know they will have just sorted it out guys this thing is making noise again please guys just bear with me bear with me guys so my dad was so so hungry that he made that very very strong statement he told my brother never to allow 
that girl to come back to his house again because my brother was still trying to persuade him he told him that if that girl come back it will be over his dead body that was what my dad told my brother that was like um what if she go and change her mind realize her mistake and come back to apologize my dad said never for her to leave the house with her child that means she doesn't want the marriage and guys not because she left with the child though that my brother is not doing his responsibility over his child he's still taking care of the child he's still sending money to take care of the child but my dad just told him that he should not allow the girl to come back to the house that it will be over his dead body that the girl will come back to the house and three years later we lost my dad when we lost when we lost my dad that was when the girl came back begging begging my mom and my my mom told my brother you 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 know what your dad told you before he died my 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 brother never listened to my mom he went ahead accepts the lady back they start living together like husband and wife so two weeks before my dad's burial my brother was the one running around for the barrier so that everything would be perfect running around. But guys, you know that my brother never attended the barrier. My brother never witnessed my dad's barrier. A week before my dad's barrier, we heard that my brother was sick. That was when we went to the village. We heard that he was sick. We all was thinking it's normal typhoid and malaria sickness. You know, normal sickness, typhoid and malaria. We never knew that it was deeper than typhoid and malaria. After the barrier, my brother didn't come. He was at the hospital. He didn't come for the barrier. After the barrier, we went to the hospital to see him. Guys, what I see, my mouth cannot say it a very young vibrant man was sick not even up to a week and he couldn't stand on his feet to go to toilets he couldn't stand on his feet to go to toilets like i was looking at my brother like this i was like are you for real is this my brother and all series of tests was done. Doctor couldn't say this is what is wrong with him. They can't even find what is really wrong with him. We just knew he was sick. He will be fine. We keep on praying to God for him to be fine. But we never knew what was really, really wrong with him. As in, the sickness was so terrible. It was even scary. Sometimes he talks like somebody that has lost his memory. Like you might be very close to him like this. He'll be talking to you as if you are very far from him. So, it was so sad. And um, that was on, on Sunday because the burial took place on um, Friday. So, I left the village on Saturday. So, on Sunday... I went to the hospital to see him. On Monday, I have to go back to Lagos because my dude, my the days they even give me to stay for the burial has expired. I'm staying extra day, so I have to go back to Lagos to start my work. And um, guys, it's not up to two days. Okay, I left Lagos on Monday. I left for Lagos on Monday, on um Wednesday. We got a call that my brother is no more. Guys, it was a sad experience. It was sad because 
we don't even know what killed him like we can't even say this is what actually happened to him because all the lab tests all the tests all the, everything the results there was nothing that was being stated that this is what is actually wrong with him nothing so it was so sad that we just lost him just like that and because of his death guys his death really leave a big hole in our hearts because my mother never survived it like not even up to one week you buried your husband and you lost your first son again it was so sad but we don't know what killed him but we know he was being killed yes that's all we can say and guys do you know the funniest part when when we took my my brother to the village for his burial do you know that his so-called wife did not spend a night in our place she didn't even wait for my brother to be laid down before she ran back to her family house so now tell me guys don't quote me wrong go i never said she was the one that killed my brother but you know somebody you've not seen for a period of time not talk of years the person can never be the same like when you left him or her so many changes will have occurred and for her to have that kind of mind to go to leave my brother's house with her daughter she can do or not do we don't know what happened we don't know what she has done we don't know but all we knew was my brother was killed and the way she acted on the day we were burying my brother she couldn't even stay for 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 my brother to be laid down she ran back she didn't even tell him but she just said she wants to go and pee before we know we couldn't see her again so it was so sad so we all we we are human and we are entitled to our reasoning so we don't we don't really know what happened we don't know how my brother was killed but we knew he was killed and it was so so sad because my mom never survived it she never survived it and that was what led to her death so sad whenever i remember this story i used to be so sad but nevertheless the deed has been done we cannot question god but we just need to be careful especially men not even men not even especially men vice versa even man too can do the same thing to woman so we just need to be careful whenever we want to get married let's just try as much as possible to make investigation about the background of the, of the family and the lady's mother saying that she has someone she wants to give to the daughter guys i don't really understand why discriminating other states she's saying she don't want her daughter to marry from abia states she accepted my brother at the first place so why would she say she don't want her daughter to marry from abia state that she has somebody she kept for her daughter if you have somebody you keep for your daughter why will you allow your daughter to marry from some from another place why do you allow your daughter to marry from another state where you know you have somebody you kept for your daughter you should have as well not accept the marriage and allow your daughter to go for the person you kept for her it's as easy like that as that instead of complicating issues now you you allow your daughter to marry this person and you never give this person rest of mind see he's dead so it's a very sad story but we can't question god there's we cannot question god so i just urge you guys when it comes to marriage it's very deep it's not marriage is not boyfriend and girlfriend stuff it's a very very deep institution 
that we all need to be very very careful about yes we need to be very very careful to avoid the story that touches the heart yeah okay guys this is my this is the end of my story i believe you guys have learned one or two things in my story yeah so guys please if you have watched from the beginning to the end of this story please what are you waiting for just do me a favor to subscribe click on that subscription button it's all free it's all free guys they won't collect money from you they won't even deduct from your data it's just free let's grow this channel together guys please like share and comment thank you guys for stopping by see you guys in my next video bye bye love you guys mm -hmm.